everyone, Tori here, and today we're going to be ruining the solar system. Now, my dearest husband gave me a cool idea for something to do. Put a rogue comet in going through the solar system with the mass of a black hole. And then he went a bit nerdy and said, oh, actually, that's kind of wrong because a black hole can weigh anything. Blah, blah, blah. Right, random asteroid. Let's just pause this a sec so nothing goes horribly wrong. What if we start it like... God, we're going to have to go quite far out, aren't we? Ah! Uh... God, I don't even know what I'm doing. Ah! Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. It's very, very small. There we go. We got our we got our tiny little meteorite just minding its own business. <laughs> this is probably not what my husband meant, but I am honestly terrible when it comes to space stuff. So I'm gonna do this to the best of my abilities. One? I don't know what that means. What does a mass of one mean? Oh, he just messaged me. He meant the mass of the sun, basically. It just says one sun. Okay, so can we actually put that in? Can we change this to say? One sun. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. One sun. Oh god, where did it go? Oh no. Um. Oh. Okay. That. That's huge. That's. 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 Well, I mean, I suppose it is the mass of the sun. I'm. I'm kind of terrified as to what's gonna happen here to the rest of the uh, the solar system. This isn't gonna be good. It's not doing anything so far. I thought it was gonna kind of come traveling in, but it seems to be minding its own business. Hang on. What is it doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, why is it just flaring up all over the place? Right, where's our little earth? Where's our glorious earth? There it is. Come here, you little rascal. I I, I I can imagine there's quite a lot of people like shouting abuse at me right now for my lack of understanding of um planet stuff and space. Okay, so we just keep the asteroid then. We'll just we'll have it in orbit of the earth. That's fine, isn't it? It's just mining his own bit. Well, where's he going? Why is he, why are you launching off? God, he's racing the earth. Jesus! Uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, 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 the Earth, the Earth is just... <laughs> Earth and Mars and the Sun, everything has gone wrong. Oh, no, what have I done? So, er 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 Erinair, as it's called. Oh, it's pulled Hebe in, okay. It's, it's destroyed the Sun, destroyed everything else with it. The Sun has decided to change course. It's decided, actually, Erinar is the love of its life. It needs to go catch up with it. Like, it's almost as if everything wants to touch it and then they get close and they go, oh god, you hideous, and they leave again. <sighs> so all it's done is create some sort of odd solar system. Like nothing circles anymore. It kind of loop de loops like a roller coaster. <laughs> oh man, where is the oh 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 god oh oh I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> Oh my god, Earth just collided and disintegrated. <gasps> Did it make a new moon? I think it made... Or is that is that something else? Is Antiope already a thing? Oh, it's just... It's just a piece of a uh, piece of rubble. Okay. Everything's being launched out. Hebe is gone. Mercury is gone. The sun apparently is slowly making its way out. So, yeah. That didn't quite go so well. What happens then if it doesn't work with an asteroid? What could we do? Could we put a moon in and then make the moon the mass of the sun and see what happens? Let's put a little moon in. Let's give... Actually, where is Earth? Where's the moon? Come on, give me the, give me the moon. We're going to turn your moon, wherever it be. Where be the moon? I can't see it. Never mind. It's fine. We'll give you a new one. Okay, so we've got... We've got our little moon, finally, because apparently the Earth doesn't get a moon, from what I can see. Unless there's a way to click it, I don't know. And make you... <laughs> I think the Earth's just... Dis oh, God. Oh, I should have maybe moved it out a little bit. Oh, no. Well, there goes Earth again. Oh, 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 oh. I am so sorry, Earth people. It... Would you believe me if I said it was an accident? But no, is everything just gonna go out of... Oh, there we go. Uh, what was that? What, what just disintegrated? He's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, no, no. He's been pushed out. He's been pushed out. Oh, snap. Well, it's a good thing we haven't colonized Mars yet, isn't it? I don't know what, what makes things... What makes certain things kind of go into it, but then get pushed out? And what makes other stuff just collide straight into it? I need, need these space questions answered. Somebody tell me, because I'm stupid and don't know things. Okay, what if we had... What if we had our little asteroid back orbiting the Earth... And what if we did some other weird settings, which I don't know what effect they'll have. What about if we made it... God, I don't even know what this shit means. What if What if we did, like, one? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, what if... What if it wasn't one? <laughs> what if it was just a normal size, please? <laughs> I've destroyed it all. <laughs> Everything's gone. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> what if... 
instead of just having one object that we put in be the mass of the sun, what if we just take every main planet and make them all the mass of the sun? Like, what would happen then? Sorry, Pluto, but you're not actually a proper planet. So, sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to sit this one out, I'm afraid. I'm sure this won't go horribly wrong at all. Yay! Oh, 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 what was that? What, what just went flying out the solar system? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, goodbye, sun. The sun has, has changed its course. It's decided Mercury and it were meant to be. Oh, here we go. No, they're just, they're just kind of giving each other a friendly wave and then they're off again. All right. Oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Oh, God. What went supernova? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Something just went supernova off in the distance. <laughs> I don't even know what this was. Oh god, there's just fragments everywhere. Who's left? I, I think I think we're doing too much fiddling. I think we need to concentrate on nice, simple little changes. Like, for example, the dearest husband has said to me, instead of just messing around and changing everything, why don't you just change the mass of the sun. So I think we'll do that. Why can't I zoom in? I, I wanna not zoom in, I wanna go forwards. There we go. How much is too much when we're talking about one sun? I mean, cause if I go two sun, that, that's, that's a pretty big change, isn't it? Should we see? Two sun. Okay, Mercury has just, it's gone egg shaped. Mercury has gone egg shaped. Venus and Earth, everyone wants to come and have a piece of this sun. Everyone's getting like a really oval, um, uh, what's it called? Revolution thing. Not revolution. What's the thing? When it goes around the sun, that thing. <laughs> like, they want to get, like, a bit of a tan, but then they want to kind of cool off as they get around. Like, ooh, I burnt my bum. Yeah, so not everything's gone like this egg shape. It's so odd. Okay. Oh, oh. How do they not crash into each other? That's what I want to know. How do these planets always know not to crash into each other? Okay, so what happens <laughs> if we change it to a three? What happens then? So what does it actually look like when it's doing that? Actually, you know what would be better to look at? Where's Earth? Oh, that's not too bad. 18, I mean, that's qu quite pleasant. That's still colder than uh, <laughs> than South Africa, you know, in the winter. As it gets closer, though, it is getting hotter. So basically, if you're somebody who, who doesn't enjoy the heat, I would be leaving uh, when it gets to its uh, closest thingy around the sun. It's closest thingy. About 60 degrees almost. No, no, seven. Oh, Jesus. Has, like, the actual surface of the Earth changed? Is that place is getting flooded? Like, <laughs> I can't tell what's happening. What is this? What is that? Is that meant to be clouds? I'm not sure. Okay, more density. More. Oh, I think it's getting waterier. I'm not sure. What is that? It seems to be spreading and taking over the water, though. I do not know. I do not understand. Apparently, our world is becoming grey. It doesn't like having its density reduced, so it's becoming grey. Wait, hang on, wait. But that's Africa, there I am, look. I'm, apparently, I'm just <laughs> some sort of grey wasteland. <laughs> okay, what if we made it really big then? Like, really big, really big. More, more, I want more, damn it. Oh, okay. Well, the Earth is dead. I, I, I overdid it, I killed, I made it 115 Jupiters. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Did I make a black hole? I might have overdone it. Everything is being sucked in. I am pretty sure this is a black hole. Oh, dear. I am sucking in all matter in the universe. What happens if a black hole... Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, wait. Is this is this the black hole? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so, what happens if the sun was half the temperature? Pretty fucking cool, I have to be honest. That actually looks a lot cooler. No pun intended, it does look a lot cooler. All right, what happens then if we just keep dragging it down? Can I Can I do that? Oh, no, here we go. How cold does this get? It goes very, very red. I do like the look of it. it oh, I might have overdone it. Oh, yeah, I've killed it. More, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Is it gonna go supernova at some point? Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? Wait, go, 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 go down again. Wait, so hang on. The temperature of the sun also dictates what happens to the solar system. Oh, so as the heat goes up, so does the mass. I didn't know that was a thing. That's kind of cool. 15, almost 15,000 degrees. It's now 1.3 times the sun it was. So how far could we go before it, like, explodes? Oh, 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 oh. Oh god, wait, why am I looking at Mer Mercury? No! Mercury, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> oh, wow. 
Mercury, I have to say, I love your new look. Oh no, what's it done? What, 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 what? Oh, apparently if it just gets hot enough, it just explodes and becomes nothing. Mars, Mars is now a thousand degrees. Oh my God, slow down. Wow, that is a cool look though. Like if you wanted to go as Darth Maul for cosplay. I love pissing around. Where's Earth though? Did Earth just get destroyed? <laughs> it looks just as bad as Mars did. Oh dear. Are you okay? I think people might be dead. Oh wow, there's other like stuff you can do. <gasps> I want to mess with this. So it says iron 24.7 but oh, it makes it smaller. Oh, there's less there's less uh less water now. No, more water. No. Yeah, there's more water. It's taking over more of the earth. Okay. What about silica? Oh, there's there's no there's no Oh, oh. Oh, I think I Oh, no. Okay. So let's say we keep 24.7% iron. The silica is normally 75.3. If we increase it, all of the countries and continents disappear. And then, oh, and now it's a gas giant. I turned it into Jupiter. Oh, no, we're back. Oh, and now we're all gray. Are we, are we a moon now? Is this a moon? There we go. Perfect. We have, <gasps> we have no... No continents except for the Arctic and Antarctica. A very big Arctic and Antarctica, I have to say. Can we make Mercury? <laughs> Can we make it look a bit prettier? Because right now it's just, it's just, I mean, it's not that bad looking, but you know, we could make it better, couldn't we? We could, we could increase stuff. We could add some water. There you go. Oh, oh shit. What's it doing? Why is it farting? Well, you're making a bit of a hole in the, uh, in the planet, but I guess it's okay. Oh, now it stopped. Oh, oh, that is the sweet point. We're back to where we started. No, no, it's still farting. It's still farting. Okay, well, that's great. That's just great. Oh, gas giant. <laughs> so what happens if we delete the sun? Deletes. Ha, what will you all do now, you fuckers? Oh, well, we're off. Oh, you're gonna start orbiting other things. Is that it? Everything's just flying out the solar system. Goodbye! Yep, everything has just left. Nobody wants to stay in the solar system anymore. I mean, fair enough. It is a pretty boring place, isn't it? Can we add a black hole? Yay, a black hole! Oh! Oh, stop! Stop, you're ruining everything! <laughs> oh my god, it just sucked everything in! And that was on super slow speed, so how fast does a black hole work? Jesus! We're gonna have a black hole, and all we're gonna have around it is suns. Just, like, suns everywhere and see what happens. All right. Oh God, what's happening? Shit, shit. What did I do? What, why is it doing that? Oh, it's like fragmenting. Are they all doing that? This one's doing it a little bit, but not as much as that one because it's closer to the uh, black hole. This is kind of doing it. How are you over there, buddy? You seem perfectly fine. You're happy with your life. Wee, wee. Let's see what happens. Is he just gonna keep going round, leaving bits of sun everywhere? Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, it became a gas giant. It's lost all its heatiness, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of just spinning round. Oh my God, oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, that looks so cool. What if, what if we have a sun orbiting a sun? I'm sure I did this before in the first universe sandbox. Oh, no. <laughs> they don't want to pull into each other though. They're just kind of dancing around each other. They're doing a very pretty dance, but like I kind of want you guys to crash into each other. So if you could just do that, you not know fine. We'll make you one and a half and then see what happens. Okay, what if we do that again? Oh, it's gone blue. Okay, more, more, more. Oh, oh God. Ah, oh. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's absorbing the other sun like some sort of vampire. Wow, that looks cool, man. Look at that sun. That looks so badass. Oh, supernova. There we go. We got a supernova. It's expanding. Oh, I don't like it. Kind of creeps me out, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna leave this here for now before people start getting really mad at me because I don't understand planet stuff and all that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. I love messing with these kinds of games. It's so much fun. And if you guys have any ideas for something I could do for a future video, let me know in the comments section. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like as it really helps me out, you would not believe. So thank you once again, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Shout out to supporters, Klaxon, Thomas Hinton, Jeffrey Thomas, Razak, Zugador, Ross Ward, Samuel de Boss, Poplio the Destroyer, and Morendor. Thank you to everyone who supports the channel in any way possible, whether it's through donations on YouTube, 
supporting me on Patreon, just watching all the videos and commenting and liking. It really means so much to me and it really does help me out. So thank you guys. Really appreciate it. I know I keep saying that, but I'm never going to stop. And yeah, I'll see you all later. So ta-ta!